Hey everybody, Jen here at Beatonville Community Hospital Wellness Center. We know it's been a rough time during COVID-19, so today we're gonna to run through a class that we do here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 and 2 p.m. Uh, chair class, so you guys can follow along at home and still have something to do and stay in shape. So first what we do is we have a chair and we have some weights, and then we're gonna sit down and we're gonna stretch first. So we warm up usually, circle those arms, do a tricep stretch. Back. And usually you tend to hold these longer, but I'm just running you through. We're going to shoulder back. Warm up because we use a lot of shoulders in this class, you all know. And then now we're gonna stretch our legs a little bit. So we're gonna go, bring your toe back, and we're gonna lean forward. And it stretches out that nice hamstring. You know, let's do some ankle circles. And feel free to have music at home because that really is a good motivator. And then we'll just pull a stretch over so we can do our lats and switch sides. And then when we come back here to neutral position, we just turn our head to the left and to the right. And we even go back and forward. Okay, now let's pick up those weights and get to work. So I have four pounders, but you're welcome to use whatever you have. And if you don't feel like you can do weight yet, just feel free to do the movements with your arms. So first we're gonna start out with some cross body punches. You can go at your speed, or if you feel like you need a harder workout, you can up the weights and do more reps. Next, let's go to some bicep curls. Controlled moves, no swinging. Remember to breathe and keep a good posture. Next, let's do some kickbacks. So we're gonna fling forward just a little bit, kick those arms back. Make sure when you get all the way back here, you squeeze those triceps. We really wanna build those up. That usually tends to be our problem area. And breathe. Next, let's go to some shoulders and do some deltoid raises. Remember, controlled moves. I don't want you to go any higher than right here. If you go up here, you're gonna overextend, it's not good. Uh, and neutral punches forward. Try to keep your body straight, stomach tucked in, and smile. Remember, always smile. Okay, now we're gonna go to some legs. Let's, let's pick up our right leg first, and we're gonna do some circles. Remember, slow and steady wins the race. Don't let that foot drop, don't touch the ground. We really wanna work our quads. And instead of stopping, let's just pull it right here and pull them up. Make sure to keep that stomach nice and tight. And hold for five seconds. That's always the kicker right there. Good, and we'll do the same for the left. So we're gonna do circles out. If you're going out too far and it feels like it's popping, you're going out too far, so tend to keep it in just a little bit quicker. We don't want to damage anything. And pull it up. And hold for five. Good, now for anybody who has any knee problems, this is a really good one. It's heel to toe. Heel to toe. It really gets a good bend, you really need that. Breathing. I know a lot of you forget that. And switch. Good, now let's go to a little bit of those abs. I know when I do this, because I hear you guys, mm, 
but that's okay, you still need it. So I put a weight between my legs and I squeeze it. I grab my chair and I lift my legs. You can modify this for whatever you want to. If you can go this high, great. If you can go this low, we're perfect with that. We don't care, we just want you to try. Really squeeze those abs when you bring it up. And hold. If you can hold me hold here, it's no problem, we don't care. And again. Good, now we're gonna take that weight. We're gonna hold it like this. We're gonna lift our right leg, which is left to you. And we're gonna take it over to the side and bring it in. Again, we're working that core. And then we'll switch, always switch sides. And bring it in. Good. Are you guys still breathing? Okay, now here's another one. This is my most important one that we do in class. How many of you struggle getting out of a chair? Well, sit to stands. Remember, it's always a trial and error, but today, when you do this, I want your legs apart. Use through your heels, don't pick up through your toes. Push up through your heels and bring it up and set it back down. These do not have to be fast. I am perfect with you all at your own pace, your own speed, safety first. So we'll come up again. Try to do five, I would be happy with five. This will keep you out of the wheelchair. I do not want anybody in a wheelchair. And if you're strong enough, when you come back down in that last one, hold just a little bit, and then set back down. Great, okay, now we're gonna go behind the chair and we're gonna work on some outer thigh and some glutes. So what we do is we go behind our chair, hang on for good balance. Don't let go if you have a fear of balance. We're gonna take our right leg and we're gonna lift it out to the side and bring it back down. Make sure to keep this nice and straight, no bending, not yet. You should really feel it over here in that hip and that glute. And switch sides. Make sure you're breathing. Good, now we do glute kicks. And I'm gonna turn to the side to show you. We're gonna take that leg back and bring it down. Remember, really squeeze when you get to this point. Okay, and switch. Good, now I'm gonna bring the chair back. Grab on very nice and tight. Feet are shoulder width apart. Remember, keep the weight of your body in your heels. We're gonna do some partial squats. So bring it down, bring it back up. Squeeze when you get to that top point. Nice and slow. Keep on smiling. Like I said, music is the best motivator. Whatever you wanna to listen to, nobody's gonna know. Good, now let's work on some balance. How many of you are struggling with that? I feel like a lot of us are because we haven't been able to do it. So hang on with one hand. I just want you to pick up the right leg and hold. And then switch. Now bring that down. If you feel strong enough, we can do some rock the boats. You don't have to hang on, but if you want to, more than welcome. And last but not least, flamingo. You bring that leg in. I'm gonna show you to the side. And you're gonna hold. That's what we're doing behind the chair. Hold, and then switch. While you're up there, try to close one eye. Maybe both. And bring that down. Good. Okay, then we're gonna sit back down. Now we're gonna do some combination exercises. So we're gonna do some bicep curls and leg lifts at the same time. So we're gonna bicep curl and lift a leg and then alternate to the other. How y'all feeling? Good. That's what I thought. Okay, now we're gonna do what I call toy soldiers. So you bring these out to a leg and switch. So you're doing a chest press, 
the straight leg lift. Good. Okay, now we're gonna do some external rotation with our arm and leg. So we're gonna take it out both together and repeat. And switch. Very nice. So now, let's cool down a little bit. I always take the arm across and hold. I usually count to about six, but if you're feeling it, count to 10. It's always good to get a nice stretch with the arm, wrist circle, and then I switch. Remember, you guys can repeat that set more than once. You can repeat this three times if you need to. It's whatever how you're feeling for the day. Now we're gonna take that right leg out, come down and try to touch that toe. If you can only go to your knee, that's great. Just try to feel a nice stretch and switch. Bring those arms back up and down. Good, now let's stretch that hip a little bit. For you that can't do this, say you've had a hip replacement or you have a hip pain, we try to keep it here and just kind of give it a little pressure because we don't really want to overextend it. So we bring it up for the people that are okay with that and don't want to damage anything. So we give it a little pressure and hold and switch. We're trying to get that heart rate back down. We want to get to normal breathing, even breathing. <coughs> and sometimes it's hard, I know, but it's okay. So let's bring that back up that tricep extension, switch, and bring it down for low circles first, low, we're slowing everything down, okay now we're going to pull that famous rope, really stretch them shoulders out. I want you to feel as if you're really grabbing and pulling. None of this little bitty arms. I want big, nice arms. Long stretches, long lines. And then we're gonna pull from the top as well. So pull it down, nice and long. Good, turn to the right, hold it. <coughs> you to put your hands on the top of your thighs. Right shoulder comes in and hold. Switch. Good. Now we're going to come up and we're going to rest our hands on our thighs and we're going to take our head back real slow and come forward and hold that chin to your chest and relax the shoulders. Make sure you're breathing still, it's key. Okay, now up for golfer stretch right here. Feels really good, you're gonna stretch that forearm. And then we're gonna bring it all the way back to, to see if you can touch your shoulder. That's what it would look like. So switch. And bring it back. So now we're going to work on some little eye hand coordination. I have my hands up like this and we're going to touch our thumb to each finger one time. I want you to try to do this with your eyes closed. Try to focus on the movement, on what we're doing. And then when you get, think you're really good, do two times. And some wrist circles. We're gonna take that right leg up now and we're gonna point the toe, plantar flexion, and bring it back for dorsiflexion. So you're just going forward, pumping that foot. Feels really good. And switch.
And last but not least, let's say those vowels and stretch out that face. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Thank you all for following me today, and I hope this helps you at home during COVID-19. Thank you.